Hello everyone, this is KC9UNS doing a part two of my uh, dipole antenna. I changed out the dipole uh, cord. It's uh, now paracord. Uh, roughly, I think it's 3 8 I'm not quite sure what exactly it is. But uh, anyway, my friend Don, uh, KA9QJG, gave me uh, the cord along with uh, there's a dog bone gave me four of these which is pretty nice I also uh, the last video I showed you how high it was well the problem was it was too low it's about 15 feet so I had to bump it up uh, I had it right here right in that crook right there right where that my finger is at and now it's up there which is about 25 to 30 feet ish. Um, actually, it's up more above that. It's uh, right where that, uh, right there. That's where it is. And uh, it's up over that way. Installation went in pretty good. Using the using a fishing line. And uh, there's the box right there. There's a box right there. And uh, I actually put in some ferrite core in it. Not quite sure what it was. Got it out of a hard drive, which probably isn't that good, but still, it doesn't really work. Okay, so there's a dog bone right there. There's a dog bone. And then this side, uh, it was up right. It was up right in there. And uh, oh wait, no, it was right right there. And I took it down and put it up right there in the, the crook because it was off center. But still, it was way too low. And then now, it's right there. And, uh, or no, it's not right there. It's one above. Right there. And uh, it's up there. And then there's a little tree branch right there that's causing a problem. And uh, right off the, off the side there. But anyway, it used to be wrapped around the tree right here. It's no longer there. It's right here where it's just sitting there and holding it up because of that branch up there. That's going to cause some problems. And uh, hopefully that uh, that'll fix it up. It fixes up with the wind. If the wind comes by, it moves it or breaks it or whatnot. Uh, Used to be over here on the light, the, the feed line. Used to be there and clamped onto the tower right over here. But I moved it over here into the other side and down and over in. And it's wrapped, the access is wrapped around here. That's my next project. An old, uh, I think it's a Radio Shack antenna for VHF, UHF. I have to cut those off and use them for VHF. Uh, dipole, or not dipole, but uh, Yagi, and then half this is going to be turned into a uh, two meter Yagi, which is going to be pretty nice. It, it was a little too long to put in the car, my friend said, so she had to bend it, unfortunately. And then uh, some extra pieces for stuff like that, I can get the replacements, but it's going to be a cool project. Uh, real quick before I let you go The uh, dog bone uh, When you're doing a dog bone a Dipole and you got your feed line or your your hard line going through here and then your uh, Your cord paracord or whatever dichron going through the other side uh, When you're tuning these antennas, it's very easy to tune dipoles uh, What you do is when you put the feed line through or the hard line and you wrap it around uh, several times what you can do is you can actually adjust the SWR with just that because what it's doing is it's feedbacking into the antenna for the SWR and you don't need to trim it at all all that you need to do is just wrap it around and just keep going back and forth on both sides until you get a perfect SWR on the band so it's a pretty good thing um, I think that's it for uh, my uh, dipole here and uh, thanks for watching and I should have brought it down for this for this video but it's a little too hard to do when it's up in the tree already 
or I should have did it while I was making it, <laughs> putting it up there. But uh, yeah, that's it. And hopefully I have uh, everything set up correctly. I did make one contact to uh, uh, what was it? Uh, WX6LOX out in California for a Skywarn event station. So or recognition, recognition. Uh, you know, Skywarn thing. So on ten meters. Kind of weird. <laughs> 10 meters. Alright. Thanks for uh, watching. This is KC9UNS. Ben, Maryville, Indiana. I'll be clear.